Saw Bay, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play classic console games on your Apple TV, 4th generation. The application we'll be using to do this is called Providence, which emulates consoles like the Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and much more. There will be a full list of what this emulator can emulate in the description below. Nevertheless, to do this, of course, you will need an Apple TV, 4th generation. You will need a USB-C cable to USB, which you can find online, as well as I would recommend that you get a made-for-iPhone Apple TV 4th generation compatible Bluetooth controller, as playing with the included Apple TV 4th generation control can be a bit difficult. With all that being said, I hope you guys are excited to learn how to play these amazing games on your Apple TV 4th generation. If so, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But hopefully you have everything that we need for this video and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright. To do this, you will need a Macintosh computer, however, if you have a Windows computer, you can easily emulate Macintosh on your Windows computer. Nevertheless, once you're on your Macintosh running software, all you have to do is go ahead and open the App Store and search for Xcode. Once you find Xcode, which looks like so, go ahead and install the application by adding your Apple ID and password. Once you do this, Xcode will begin to install, however, Xcode is a pretty heavy hefty program so it will take some time to download. So once your Xcode is done downloading come back to this video. Once Xcode is done downloading you can go ahead and open it and continue the installation process of the application as it will walk you through what you need to do to get access to Xcode or you can just follow what I'm doing on screen. Once you're done installing Xcode and doing everything that needs to be done, you will have a screen like so. From here, what you want to do is go up to the top and go to Xcode, click on Preferences, and then click on Accounts. Here, you want to add your Apple ID that is on your Apple TV fourth generation. This needs to be the same exact Apple ID that's on the Apple TV or else it will not work. So be sure to check your Apple TV and see what Apple ID is on there and once you get it, go ahead and add the Apple ID and password here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and exit out of the accounts tab and then we're going to go into the source control tab that is also at the top of the screen. Once you get to source control, you're going to want to click on checkout and then copy the link that I have in the description below for the Providence source code. Here you're going to go ahead and paste that in, click next, hit the master branch and then hit next and of course be sure to save the Providence folder in your documents. Now it'll begin to download Providence and this again is a hefty folder so it will take some time however once it's done you will have a screen like this. Once you get to the screen, you want to click on Providence at the top left, go to Providence TV release, and then plug in your Apple TV to the power source, plug in the USB to your computer, then plug in the USB-C end to your Apple TV, and finally plug the power into your Apple TV, and be sure to make sure that the power is on. Once you do this, you'll see that you have now have your Apple TV in Providence TV release, and you can go ahead and select it. Once you do this, it'll load a couple of things which will take some time, but once it's done, it'll say Providence ready. Once it says that, you can go ahead and click on the play button at the top left. However, it will give you an error. From here, all you have to do is click on fix issue. It'll attempt to fix the issue, then it'll prompt you to pick your Apple ID or your personal team that you just put in the accounts tab, and it'll still say that there's an error, which is completely fine. Click done. What you want to do is click on Providence at the left here, then click on Providence TV and you want to change the bundle identifier that is in the middle so delete everything that I'm deleting and type in anything that you'd like as long as you haven't used it before on your Apple TV. So for example I'm just going to put milk then I'm going to go to team and select my team which is my Apple ID and then you're going to click on fix issue. 
once you do this you should have a screen like this and then you can go ahead and run the Providence TV application but you'll still have an issue so go ahead and click fix issue um, which is completely fine now once you click on fix issue it'll give you one last error which is completely fine so what you want to do is go to the left and under Providence TV you want to click on top shelf on top shelf you want to change the bundle identifier again so make sure whatever is in the middle you delete that and type in the same thing that you deleted um, the same thing that you typed in when we were on Providence TV so like I said I typed in milk so I'm gonna be sure to type in milk again here and now once you do all of this and you go ahead and click on the play button to run Providence it'll say there was a problem again but once you fix this issue here Provenance will run properly on your Apple TV and it'll begin to build it. This will take some time, however, I have sped it up. And once it's done, be sure to wait a couple of seconds because after it says build succeeded, it's still doing a couple of things. But once it says running Provenance on Apple TV, you can disconnect it, plug your Apple TV back into your TV and go ahead and run Provenance. Now, you may be wondering how do you get games and all you have to do is click on import ROMs and it'll say web server started. You can now upload ROMs by downloading saves by visiting and it'll give you a URL. So you want to put that URL into your favorite web browser and you'll have a screen like this. From here, you want to click on ROMs. And now we're going to learn how to get ROMs. The website we'll be using to get ROMs will be loveroms.com. Upon arriving at the website, you're just going to go ahead and search for any game that you'd like that Provenance can emulate. So for example, I'm going to search for Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, which is a Game Boy Advance game and Provenance can play. And once I find the game that I would like, I'll click on it and then I'll just hit download now and it'll begin to download the game. Be sure that it's not a .dmg file and it's a .gba file if it's Game Boy Advance or whatever the case may be. Once you ensure that it is the right file, go ahead and click on upload files in the provenance uh, kind of web page. Click on the file that you'd like to update, which is the game you just downloaded. And once you look at your Apple TV and click stop, you'll now see that the game you downloaded is on your provenance, which is pretty amazing. It's a great way to get applications easily from your computer to your provenance, but you have to make sure that you're on the same internet. With all that being said, you can do this to get any other games that you would like, and I hope you enjoy playing classic games on your Apple TV 4th generation. Provenance has loads of settings that I encourage you guys to check out, like if you have multiple controllers, you can play two-player games, and much more. Anyways, if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. As well as if you have any friends that have Apple TV 4th generations, be sure to share this video with them so they can play their favorite classic games on their Apple TV as well. Finally, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I make awesome tutorials like this one every week. And as always, thanks for watching and Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the operation.